my name is Liz Harry. Um, my small biz name is Liz Harry Design and I make colourful, quirky um, accessories and stationery. Hello, my name is Alice Cavassa and I'm the founder of Ribbon & Wicker, the online boutique store for luxury handcrafted hampers and gifts that support other small businesses, artisans and the environment. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Sanchez and I'm a jewellery designer based in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. My business is called Horse Thief and I design pieces using sterling silver, gold and American mine materials. Hi, I'm Brittany Pogue Muhammad Acosta and I'm the founder and CEO of Mosaic the Label. Mosaic the Label is a lifestyle brand that caters to those that identify as mixed race or mixed heritage. Hello, I'm Noemi, also known as Creativity Jungle on Instagram or Etsy. I'm a French creative freelance doing photography, illustration and graphism. Hi, my name is Caro, I'm 32 years old and I'm the founder of Precycle Pantry. Precycle Pantry is a Melbourne-based mobile zero-waste bulk shop that offers plastic-free and refillable pantry essentials delivered directly to the comfort of your home. Hello, I'm Jean Choi. I'm running my own small business called Jean Choi Art and Design. I mostly sell art prints of my own paintings, such as this. Hello, my name is Vanessa, and I'm a calligraphy artist and teacher based in Bondi Beach, Australia. Hi, my name is Sophia Roca, and I'm the owner and founder of Lukuma Boutique. We offer feminine, chic, timeless, quality pieces for women, like the one I'm currently wearing. And we're based out of Arlington, Virginia, and Miami Beach, Florida. I think the first most rewarding thing is probably um, being able to follow my own excitement and create things that I personally love. Growing my small biz over the past five years has been really rewarding and one of the best parts of that is getting feedback from customers. Um, I get some lovely messages when a pin design or a print has resonated with a customer and that's really lovely. We offer a range of gifts conveniently available to purchase online, as well as bespoke and corporate options from letterbox friendly gifts to traditional wicker hampers. The most rewarding part of running your own small business is knowing that you have contributed towards someone's happiness, whether it's your suppliers, your customer, the gift recipient or even your own. You also have the freedom to create in your own terms. And our vision is to create a world where consumers make conscious choices through ribbon and wicker products, which benefit the consumer, the supplier, the recipient and the environment. My favorite part about being a small business owner is that I'm able to operate at a pace that allows me to bond with my clientele. A big portion of what I do at Horse Thief is creating custom work and that can be for ceremony, memorial or even everyday pieces that people tend to bond with and wear in order to help them feel more like themselves. For me, taking something material and creating meaning with it, telling a story with it and giving it presence beyond the physical is really the best form of art that I could possibly do. It's our mission to ensure that every person who identifies as mixed race or mixed heritage feels seen, feels heard, and feels like they have a place in this world. I have to say the most rewarding part about running my small business would be knowing that I've had an impact on someone's life. We've had customers thank us for just starting our brand. We've had customers uh, joke that the thought that they've had is now on a t-shirt or a tote bag. Um, we've even had a mother come to us and say that one of our shirts has helped her son at school because he was kind of being picked on or made fun of, of that he wasn't quote black enough um, because he was mixed. So he wore one of our shirts uh, to school the next day and he was able to express himself and who he actually is and who he chooses to identify as. So I have to say that that's the most rewarding part is knowing that we are impacting people's lives. We are creating a space for mixed race and mixed, mixed heritage um, folks out there to just live in the in-between, be comfortable with who they are and not let society tell them that they have to choose one side or the other. I think that the most rewarding parts of being a small business owner would be first of all being your own boss. Uh, it's really scary, it's really stressful, but it's worth it. And then 
people ordering your products and the feedbacks. The feedbacks are amazing and I'm so thankful for that. Having people telling you that they love the packaging, that they love your products and that you're worth it is always so good because you keep questioning yourself, am I worth it? There are so many people talented out there and doing really similar stuff. So it's always a bit scary, but having people telling you that your work is great is always amazing. So I will always be grateful for that. So yeah. For me, there are two equally rewarding areas of my business. So the first one would be that for every container we refill, there's one less plastic package out there harming our environment. And the second one is that we encourage community. So every time you book Pablo our van to visit your street or home, we require you to have at least two friends or neighbors to come over and refill. So we're always building community with like-minded individuals who care for the planet and our environment. The most rewarding thing uh, when I run my small business is that um, I get to create what my heart tells me to. So unlike uh, working for a big company or another company, I can create what I want to create, what I'm inspired by, and what I love. So I, that's the most rewarding. Another rewarding thing is I get to create my own brand for myself. This is a tissue paper I got from No Issue, which has one of my favorite designs here called Dancing Leaves. I have a little business called Bondi Letters where I teach people um, how to work with their creativity and how to connect with their inner self and intuition through not only workshops but also products that I handcraft like this one. I think my favorite part of the business is sharing the process of everything with my clients. So from receiving an order through working on their order, showing them how it's going after I, I engrave the crystals for instance and just sending them a quick message and showing them a snippet yeah, the reaction that they always have is so amazing. I, I just love that connection with them and, and knowing that I'm doing something with a lot of love that is also received with a lot of love and especially the opening the, the packaging as well. Whenever they send me some, some videos of that, I love it because I feel that they're receiving a present that's coming straight from my heart. So yeah, that's my favorite part. The most fulfilling thing about being a small business owner are the connections that are made. Whether it is a small business owner who is supporting you, you're collaborating with them, you're like-minded and you just create friendships or just uplift each other. Or for me, what's most fulfilling is when a woman comes to me with a problem and maybe it's she doesn't know how to mix outfits together, she doesn't have time for it doesn't see the purpose and then you see this shift in confidence in dressing with ease that to me is the most rewarding and fulfilling so one of the connections I'm grateful for is no issue tissue we really wanted to provide an experience during the unpackaging process and we wanted to make sure it's sustainable so we when we sourced no issue tissue we wanted it to be customizable so we worked with our designer Amy DeMello who now is partners with No Issue Tissue and I think that is amazing how they recognize talents. This tissue paper has really allowed us to stand out in an online saturated industry and provide an experience for our customers when unpackaging. Like you're purchasing a gift for yourself and for you to feel that when you receive your order. Thank you for watching and be sure to follow us at lucumaboutique.com.